Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. All righty, uh, not a bad morning for you on the mild side, 50s, although it will be quite windy later. We'll get you the weather update in just a couple of moments. Right now, let's spend a couple of moments with uh, President uh, Douglas, Bristol Community College President Laura Douglas. And uh, let's first say, I uh, hope you had a great Thanksgiving and wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy holiday season. Good morning. Good morning, Heck, and same to you. I hope it was a good turkey day. I did. I had a great uh, – matter of fact, I not had uh, not only one but two turkey dinners. We went to my my sister-in-law and then my brother-in-law, and we uh, we put – we actually took two meals in, uh, but very, very small portions. <laughs> we had to. <laughs> But anyway, happy hack always does it right. Let that, me just say, <laughs> it, it worked out. It worked out very well. And then, of course, I was just right before you came on the air, was saying, such a uh, your your uh, your facility at Bristol Community College in Fall River has been such a uh, uh, you could almost say it's a godsend. I mean, there are so many people who are taking advantage of the vaccines, the boosters, the COVID testing, and the hours and the and the. Uh, Ease is so convenient, and uh, so what? What a great ac- uh, asset for us, uh, certainly here along the South Coast. Yes, we're so happy to help. And uh, actually, we've got uh, another open clinic coming up on the 13th on our Fall River campus where people can just walk in and get their boosters. So I know boosters have been a little hard to get, but you can get to our website, check that out, and we are very happy. You don't even have to register to come to this one. Uh, we try to make it as easy as possible. That's great. Yeah, I know uh, I know. for the uh, the testing, I think it's no appointment, you know, and it's tough to find a location that's going to have that for you. So that's a... Uh, yeah, it's so easy. That is so easy. All right, let's talk about another good thing. I think no question about this is uh, is Bristol Community College's recent Giving Tuesday initiative benefiting the CARE Fund. Let's, let's talk a little bit about that, what that entails, and uh, how that's all going. Yeah, so the CARE Fund uh, we established several years ago to help our most financially challenged students so that they stay in school. Uh, It provides some relief, uh, especially when emergencies happen. We often say you're only one flat tire away from dropping out of school, and that's sometimes what happens, uh, whether it's food insecurity, uh, a utility payment, uh, something along those lines. Uh, And so our Giving Tuesday this past week, was all about the CARE Fund, how we could support our students. And we set a goal of $5,000, and we uh, exceeded it with over $7,400. So uh, it was a a really successful day. And, you know, to put it into perspective, um, we have served more than 455 students um, since February of 2019. that's uh, over 160,000 that we use for transportation, uh, bus passes, gas cars, gas cards, you know, minor gas uh, car repairs, housing assistance sometimes, educational supplies, um, those kinds of things. And uh, you'd be surprised how many college students need help. In fact, we estimate through research across the nation that 44% of all community college students report some degree of food insecurity alone. So it is really a high need um, population. uh, And we are just really happy when people give to support this initiative to keep our students in school. Mm -hmm. Now, have things gotten better or about the same? I mean, are are students still facing some, some serious financial obstacles? They really are. You know, I think that for many people, staying home has helped them collect funds, but for students who have relied on uh, a variety of different jobs and opportunities, it's really been uh, difficult for them. Um, We had, uh, we were getting, you know, 15 requests in an entire year for assistance. Now we're getting, you know, up to 30 requests a week. Uh, we have in 2020, uh, up to, to in this year alone, 441 requests. So that's really, really severe. Um, we, we have, um, 
uh, distributed about $75,000 um, in dollars in funds just from January alone. Um, and we are continuing to hand out money uh, for really severe needs. And just to put this into perspective, you know, we've got our students who are, you know, studying to be nurses and dental hygienists and they're helping out through this pandemic. But, you know, when they have to drop out because they can't pay a bill, that puts in a, a tremendous strain on our healthcare system. We don't have the workers. We've already invested. They've taken and seats in our programs, which are limited. So we need to do everything we can to help these students and a lot of our other frontline workers who have uh, really, um, you know, paid the price to this pandemic with long hours and, um, you know, unstable uh, work, those kinds of things. So we really appreciate everything that our donors have done in, in, in donating to our students, whether it's scholarships or for the CARE Fund. And um, just know that it's so important to get our students through these programs so they can go out in the community and join our workforce at a time when nobody seems to, uh, uh, you know, uh, be able to find the workers that we need. And uh, we, we really need to find skilled workers. Yeah, it's amazing. I, 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 I I think for a lot of us that have experienced whether you go to a to a donut shop or whether you're going to uh, uh, another business and uh, and they're saying, well, we have to close early. We don't have the help, or we do, we you know we can only you uh, you can only use the drive through. You know that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, when we talk to folks in the community about our care fund, um, sometimes they think, well, why can't they pull themselves up by their bootstraps? I did that when I was in college or this, that, or the other, or, or you know, they should just be working harder to, to bring that money in. Well, taking time to study is, uh, is, a, is, a, is a lot of time to do well. And, you know, it was interesting. We've, we've had, um, you know, student trustees, uh, honor students, students with 4.0 GPAs, students that work the graveyard shift in hotels who have had to come to us for help. And uh, and it's really students who are working really hard to finish and get out into the community, get those jobs, and pay it back. They do a great job of paying it forward, um, especially when they land in jobs and then want to help other students at Bristol Community College. Um, we have a tremendous giving program. Um, we give out more than half a million dollars in scholarships every year. That's a tremendous tremendous amount for a community college of our size. We're very fortunate to have uh, community members who really believe in our mission. Um, and so we just really want to thank those folks who have contributed and contributed to our annual campaign, um, endowed scholarships, all of those things. It's made a difference in the scholarship city of Fall River and in our t entire uh, Bristol County. All right. That's good. Good, good, good stuff. Uh, it's, uh, it's good on top of good. <laughs> it's really great. Uh, uh, can folks uh, go to the website and get more info uh, about the CARE Fund? They sure can. And uh, if they want to make a donation online, uh, they can do that as well. They just need to go to bristolcc.edu backslash donate, and they can make an online donation, and they can identify where they might want that donation to go. So we really appreciate the support. All right. Hey, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy holiday season. We'll see you. I guess we'll see you next year at this point. <laughs> All right. Same to you. Happy hack. All right. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh,